don't need surprise. To do all of that. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. One two one two. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you see me? Where are you watching? Where from? are you watching from? What color shirt are you wearing? That was a little too far. All right, we have one viewer. Practicing for our ASMR days. Hold on, are you in my seat? Yep. Am I on your microphone? Yep. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, it's from the Beasties page. There we go. There we go. Jennifer, what up? What up? I'll let you control the, the oh, mouse. Well, then why did you put it on this You'd side? be the mouse controller. Okay. But if you start acting, you start being inappropriate, I'm cutting it off. Okay. We have a title for tonight's video. We sure do. We are prepared, folks. Sabrina says, no divorce. No Highlight divorce. that comment. Highlight that How comment. How do you... You just click on the, her thumbnail. You click on that right there. Okay. And it's all you do is click. Okay. And then after about four seconds, you hit. There's an X that pops up. Okie dokie. Grape their balls empty and their bellies full. Wow. Okay, Granny. <laughs> click on that. <laughs> click on that because I didn't. That, that wasn't for That's me. That's a good one. There you go. See what you do. You're already messing up. You leave it right there. Okay. Can you say right there? Say right there. Okay. Got it. Sabrina says, I'm going to put this on loud so my wife can listen to this. Ha ha. Yeah, this is going to be good stuff, guys. I hope so. We have 44 people watching already. That's on Facebook, YouTube, 52. All right. And we're on TikTok. And we're on TikTok. Hi, TikTok. You got that damn filter on again, don't you? Yep. I look like I look good, don't I? All right. Somebody says, I have missed y'all. Look, I'm sorry, bro. You're on my nerves. Just keep your paws ah, over there. Click it. All right. You just leave it on the side. People right? like when you acknowledge their comment. I understand that. Acknowledge but you, then their you comment. get mad because, okay. All right. We're there already steering from. Diverting from our diverting. primary purpose. Okay. So explain your title. Yesterday, we watched a Casey Neistat video, and it was pretty good. Wasn't it funny? Yes, it was good and it was funny, but watched, I don't think that it was yesterday. It was like two days ago. It was uh, it was really good. Anyways, he titled it 10 Tips for Not Getting Divorced. It was him and his wife pretty much were making a video just rapping back and forth, and they had some other B-roll clips. Anyway, it was really good, and I thought, man, that was good. Arrow says, what's your TikTok? Beast Tea Shop. Yep, Beast Tea Shop. Give me a follower. Give me a follower. Okay. Anyways, man, like this is real deal stuff right here. So like we're going to give you guys 10 tips for A, first off, not getting divorced and B, running a business. So this is like a psh, 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 two piece right here. So uh, the cool thing is, yeah, Sabrina says, I'm going to keep tab on who's winning, right? So what we're going to do is each one of us are going to give you guys a tip and then you're going to say whose was better, E's or B's. And I can already look at mine and say that mine are better. You know, they might be, but I'm telling you what. It takes two to tango, girl. Sure. And we tangoing. Believe that. Okay. All right. Would, so, would you say that our life was easier before the business stuff? Oh. Or? Sounds like a different video topic. Okay. Sounds like you're not playing the game that we're here okay. to play. Okay. Number one, my tip for not getting divorced and running a business, wake up early. Wake up early before your spouse, before your okay. kids, before the world, before everyone else. Wake up early so that you can think, right? If you can't even think, if you can't like have a moment of silence, if your life is chaos from the second you wake up, you're screwed. That's my tip, folks. What you got, girl? Um, so we're talking about biz like business, right? We're talking about 10 tips for not getting divorced and running a business. Okay. So he always just throws me into this stuff. So if I sound like an idiot, it's because he's making me look like one. But anyway, <laughs> both should be passionate about the thing, the business, everything. Because if only one person is passionate about it, then it's not going to work. So you're, t you're saying both people should be. And now, here's the thing. I'm not going to cross-examine your statement or okay. anything like that. Okay. I might a little bit. So you're saying that it's very important for both people to be passionate about the thing. Right. Because if you're both not passionate, you're both not going to be working as hard on the thing. On a scale of 1 to 10, how passionate are you about your sublimation business? 10. On a scale of 1 to 10, how passionate am I about the sublimation business? 10. The tip works, folks. It's going good. So I say wake up early. She says be passionate about it. Give me a 1. If my tip was better, give me a two if Beast T's tip was better. 
Oh, come on, where's the ones at? Where's the ones at? I see them all coming in. There we go. I see some hearts. I see some grease. TikTok, y'all say two. She wins. Who is that? Who is that? Man, everyone's saying two. Oh, come on now. All right, Jennifer. There, there's one. Okay. Look, if you ain't waking up early, if the first thing you hear when you wake up in the morning is, Daddy, I want to change my clothes. <laughs> or, did you make my coffee yet? Or, what else do I hear in the morning first thing? What's the first thing you hear in the morning? Me thumping around? Yeah. Yeah, me thumping around the house. Like, you just set yourself up for, like, not as good of a day as you possibly could. Someone says, if your partner's not in, it's done for a partnership. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's not a partnership if your partner's yeah. not in, right? I'd have to say so there. Okay. Good deal. All right. So do, the, the people said I won. Was that a clear mm, I one? I think I saw a lot that was more a, That was a lot of ones right there. So. And I saw one. Good deal. All right. So tip number two. Again, my tip for not getting divorced and running a, a – I almost said a successful business. Not getting divorced and running a business. My tip number two is make a lot of money. Right. Well, you might say, well, does that sound like a dumb tip? I know some people out there that's only trying to sell something that costs three dollars. Right. My goal is to make a lot of money. So my tip for you is you should strive to make a lot of money. You should ask a lot of people to buy your stuff every single day. Like before you go to bed, ask everybody, you know, to buy something from you. As soon as you wake up in the morning, ask everybody you know to buy something from you. And I think that if you do that, you'll eventually start making a lot of money. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. All right. What's your tip, girl? Um, sorry, you're erasing it on the whiteboard. Um, so my tip was split up the work and always offer the other person help. Split up the work and yeah. offer the other person help. That, that's good. Yeah. I'm going to give her that one right there. She won. Would you say? One for, one for E, two for B. Chad says, yes, sir. My husband calls it our business, but I make everything. That's good. I like that. I respect that. Good deal. I would say, look, you know, and if you're not asking a lot of people to buy from you, you're quite honestly not going to make money. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to. Everyone's saying two again. Come on now. If you ain't asking people to buy from you, you don't, you don't have a business, right? You better be asking people to buy. Yeah, but that's kind of more like how to operate a business not how is that going to keep you from getting divorced well let me be honest for a second there are and again i try not to have my feelings or like my day predicated by how much money i've made throughout the day but on days where i haven't made shit how do i act a little cry baby on days where i don't make money i feel like crap right and on days where i make big bank how do i act <laughs> Good. Yeah. I feel a lot better, right? So just by doing that right there, I think that is a great tip for not getting divorced. If you're happier and you got more money, you're going to be happier and you're your like business making, is You're be like making well. this a competition. It might be a competition. Okay. Are we competing right now? So far, I'm winning though. Yeah. Jennifer's on my side. I like that. Um, so on TikTok, but what if your spouse isn't part of the business, supportive but not hands-on? I think that's another topic for another day. Um, but if, you're, if your spouse isn't supportive of your business, like, you know, there's a lot of my friends. I don't want to go off on a rant right here, but I always tell my friends, like, look, you have to put your wife in a position to be successful, right? You have to put your wife in a position to be successful, right? Same way, like, if you plant a plant in, the, in gravel, it's not going to grow, is it? Yeah. Right? It's not going to grow. Correct. Except pay, that little flower out pay there attention. that is growing in the concrete. Whatever. You, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> you have to put your wife in a position to succeed, right? Allow her to succeed. You know, enable her to succeed. And then once she begins to succeed, like that's a whole new, requires a whole new level of support right there. So like, you know, like it, you, you got to acknowledge what your spouse is allowing you to do. Like if you're like in the beginning, when you know, when she told me I want to buy a $600 sublimation printer, my first thought was, wow, that's ridiculous, right? That's the first thing I said to myself is that is ridiculous. I said, that's ridiculous. We don't have the money for it. What about all these epoxy turners and Mary Kay and Sensies and all these other things you tried to do? Like it logical kicked in right there, but we got the printer. Somebody said, what the hell are y'all doing right now? <laughs> that's We're a rapping. great question. We are chopping it up. 
Beast Tease is trying to get more active on TikTok. I say, look, if you get active on TikTok, girl, we're going to have to be active on Facebook. So that's what we're doing right now. We're being active. All right. Was that the end of that? Yep. Did you win that one again? I think so. Is that 2 nothing B? Yeah. Wow. I'm getting smoked over here. Okay, number three. Number three. This is my tip for not getting divorced and running a business. Do what you're good at. Right. Do what you're good at and allow your other person to do what they're good at. What do you think about that one? B? I think that's a good tip. Yeah, I agree. Do you think it's better than the tip you got? No. Let's hear it. Okay. Um, She's reading off our whiteboard table yeah. right now, in case you're wondering. So I have make sure that you take the time to en- to enjoy your accomplishments, meaning when you're running your own business and if you do that, like you understand that you're working 24 hours a day around the clock and you never like have time to, it feels like enjoy each other or enjoy like, oh, we've got a little extra spending money. Let's go do something with each other. Let's go do something with the family, stuff like that. So that was kind of my tip. I think, you know what? That's good right there, girl. Can you hand me my phone real fast? If you're watching this on a platform where you're able to share it, go ahead and do us a favor and share this video real fast. I'm trying to I'm trying to get my grandma to see this video. If my grandma sees this video, that means I'm winning. So well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and share this video. There it is right there. Share. Brittany Mata gets all the views. Share this video if you're watching down below. All right. So again, oh, somebody says, I call a draw. I'm getting some fans over here, right? I love that y'all work together so well. Man, Amy, we got you. We it is it's not always so well. We it is a But I think like we do struggle like to take the time to do fun things because we just get so wrapped up in like our everyday like what you'd say like same shit different day type thing where like sometimes you feel like you're just living the same day over and over again, especially like when you're like working from home. So it's definitely important to I don't know. I feel like of all of our friends and like family, we take less vacations than anybody because I feel like we're just working all the time. Yeah. So let me ask you, B, how would you like to celebrate your accomplishments? Like, what would you like to do in a perfect Brittany Mata world? What does celebration look like? I want to travel more, but we're kind of in a phase of life with our young kids that it's just not... It's feasible, but it's not something that would be crazy enjoyable right now. But I think in the future, you know. Yeah. Travel more. Give me a specific destination. Where would you like to go? Somewhere out west. West? Yeah. Are we talking mountains? Are we talking yeah, like Beverly like Hills? Or are Arizona, we talking... like Texas, places like that that are more like scenic. Like Grand Canyon? Where's that? Yeah. Is that far? Is that west? I think so. Far, far west? <laughs> Somewhere not around here. Yeah. You know what? My A couple... And you... This was a dumb idea. It was one of my ideas, but it was a dumb idea. A couple of years ago, I was like, let's buy an RV and travel around in an RV. Didn't I say that? Mm, I almost yeah, bought one. Maybe. Yeah. These kids, man, I'm telling you, for, you know, our kids are seven, four, and two, and they're rough, man. It's rough. Everybody on TikTok saying, come to Texas. I would love to go to Texas. I, I know too. if we did, we have so many, we have so many people down in Texas. I mean, every time I'm shipping out something to, it's like half of them go to Texas. Mm-hmm. So. We love Texas. Yeah. We might have to go to Texas. I would enjoy that, actually. All right. Are we on for tip number, what are Thanks we on, for four? the roses. The girl dads are watching us on TikTok. My dudes. We love them. Yeah. They buy ink and paper all the time. Yeah. If your box isn't full, like every time I package up your guys' box, it's already full, so full that I can't even stick anything else in there. But if there's ever a time where I'm packaged it up and it's not full, I make sure I throw a little something in there for you because y'all look out. Eric Maddy, yes, camping is the best family adventure. I agree. I'm telling you what, our last camping trip we was scheduled for three nights. We made it two. The girl dads are in Texas too, by the way. Sweet. And on the okay. third night, we packed it up and bounced. We said, screw this, we're out. These kids are so bad, so bad. Mm-hmm. But we love them. Yeah. And we won't leave them at home. We won't go, we won't leave <laughs> without them. you need to put those guns away. <laughs> <clears throat> Can we get a amen for the shirt? If she doesn't appreciate the dad broad, then she doesn't get the dad rod. Beasties exclusive right here. Okay. Yeah. Next tip. All right. Keep in mind, folks, we're talking about 10 simple tips, simple tips for not getting divorced while running a business. My tip number four is make a list, right? Good Lord, Brittany Mata, if you would just make a list of everything you want to get done when you wake up in the morning, it is my purpose in life to accomplish those things on that list for you. That's all I want, girl. Just give me a list. Tell me exactly what you want me to do, I wish and I it can will make get a done. List. Do you feel me? 
Holla if you hear me. I hear you. And for me, like, I, let me, uh, um, again, let me be honest again real fast. <laughs> like, if I don't feel that I've made a sense of progress throughout my day, at the end of the day, I feel depressed, right? I just feel like shit. If I feel like, man, I let the whole day go by and I didn't move the needle towards something that I'm trying to accomplish, I literally feel bad, you know? So by making a list of things that I want to get done throughout the day and actually like, I don't care if there's five things on the list and I only get two of them done. I still move the needle. I still feel better. Isn't there like a science behind checking off something on a list, like in your brain or something? I just told you. Yeah, there's science behind. I told you I feel bad when I don't check the box okay well i'm just saying that's science right there that's scientific research but make a list right and again not just a list for me but if i know what you're trying to get done check this out when our two universes combine to accomplish something together pow that's like the that's like the most wonderful thing that could ever happen right there so make a list go ahead girl what's that i hear a kid up there walking around it's either a kid or a cat it's either a kid or a cat number four Oh gosh, it's kind of erased. Oh, <laughs> wait, did I only write four? One, two, three, four. Yeah, you only wrote four, so you got to make another one up. Oh no. Um, so I wrote down. I wrote down no when the other person needs a break. No when the other person needs a break. Yeah. Wow. Because I feel like a lot of the time. And we'll get a little personal, I guess. But, you know, a lot of this beastie stuff, like, you know, my face is pretty much plastered all over it. And if you you watch us, like, behind the scenes, like, you know that... Oh, my God. You Sorry, I'm just getting this comments off here. Sorry, I probably... You know, if you know behind the scenes, you know that it's both of us. But for people that don't, they just see my face all the time. And a lot of, like, comments or emails and all of that, like, come in. And I get to a point sometimes with, like you know, my mental health, I just get to a breaking point where sometimes I'm like, screw all this. Like, I don't want to do this anymore because it's just, it gets to me so bad. And I think we get to that point a lot where I'm just like, you know, you're loving doing all this right now. And I don't like, I'm upset. I'm stressed. Like sometimes I just don't want to do it anymore. And not that I truly mean that or feel that way, but if you run a business, you know what I'm talking about. Like this becomes a lot. And especially when you start like growing your following and trolls and people want to talk shit to you, it becomes really uncomfortable. And that was kind of where my co- thing comes in with like knowing when I just need to step away for a little bit. I really appreciate your vulnerability. Do you need a break? I'm fine right now. You good? <laughs> it's hard, man. Like, and I, and I see that in her and it's hard for me. It's easy for me just to be like, who cares what someone says on the internet? Like who cares about some stupid comment or something like that? But again, she takes it personally. Mm -hmm. Right. And, um, and I have to respect that and, um, and validate that feeling. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, so I think you, I think I agree with you, girl. There are uh, no one you need a break for Brittany sure. Bailey says, hiring someone to do my customer service has been a game changer for me. And we've talked about that a lot. Cause yeah. I'm just like, oh my gosh, if somebody else could just like take this part, like, off the plate you know what I mean like it's just and it kind of goes back to finding somebody that's also sort of passionate about your business because it, it's hard I don't know it's hard to explain yeah we've right. tried it and it hasn't worked yeah again you know like there's a you know again like I didn't this isn't one of my tips but like there's always like you know a lot of people are just wired to go 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 right grow your business, grow your business, grow your business. But I feel like I'm at a place, we're at a place where I don't want to keep, like, I don't want any more business than what we've got right now. Like I am happy with where we're at, with what we've got, just me and you. Like, I don't want to hire people so we can do more work or I don't want to hire people so I don't have to do something like everything that I do. I literally enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah. So like, and I think that's, that's my goal. Uh, Yeah. I think that we're kind of like, we don't, you know, want to hire and have like a huge like manufacturing area or something like that's or I'm not wording that right. Like a shipping center, yeah. distribution center, like, pay other people to do it for us. Yeah. Like I want to take responsibility. If an order goes out and it's not right, 
It's my responsibility, right? And I just, again, that is our limitation. You know what I'm saying? And if we've hit the cap and is this is if, if this is the highest we'll ever get, I'm cool with that. Let's ride it out. Let's keep doing it. You know, mm. and um, and there's a lot of freedom in that. You know, just knowing like because last year I was like, oh, let's do five times what we did, and I was like, man, that was not fun, was it? Mm-mm. Not to mention the taxes you pay when you make a bunch of money is ridiculous. So it doesn't even make the sense to make all that money sometimes. Mm. Anyways, that's another rant right there. I think I just want to stay at a place where I feel like I enjoy this and I love this. And I know when we get to points where it's too much, especially like, for example, like if we do like a shit ton of pre-orders on something and everybody's emailing every five minutes, where's my order? Where's my order? And it's like, you ordered a pre-order. Like, you know, it's not here yet. Like that type of stuff like stresses me out. Like that is, it's just not like worth it to me. So, why are you making that weird face? I'm just smiling, girl. <laughs> I'm, I just read my f- tip number five. So, you it, weren't even listening to what I was saying. And it just put me in a whole new world. So, okay. I, I feel well, like this will be the last tip because I don't have another tip. No, you got to make can't, one more. I can't think of you one. You have I to can't. make one more. Because I think I've won two and you've won two. So, if, if this is the only one I got, I win by default. You give up. You forfeit. Acknowledge it. You, get, well, you quit. No, I just... Go ahead. Tip number five. Four not getting divorced while running a business, be grateful. Be grateful. Isn't that a good tip? Yeah. You know how I, uh, have I ever told you about how I fill my brain with gratitude every single day? Like literally, look at the size of this head. Like look at this massive piece of work right here. I literally, the first thing I do. That is the biggest dome piece I have ever seen. Yeah, I don't know. Mine looks kind of big, yeah, but it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's really pretty not. big too. You're pretty smart. I just too. have a fat face. So, anyways, this is how I fill my brain with gratitude from the second my eyes open. I learned this from Tony Robbins. As soon as my eyes open, right? I literally, before I even get up, I close my eyes and I just lay in bed and I think about all the things that I'm grateful for. So, of course, my wife laying next to me. And then I'll smack her from the back. No, I'm just kidding. I literally think about all the things that I'm grateful for, like literally one after another, after another, after another, after another, like just big things, little things like sun, like everything that I'm grateful for. And literally I fill my brain with gratitude before my feet even hit the floor. And by doing that, I'm telling you what, do I have a good morning every day? Sometimes. How, what is my spirit like in the morning? Too much for me. On 100. Like, my spirit is lit every single day. So I fill my brain with gratitude, go hit the coffee, go hit the pre-workout, and just literally... That's why you're in a good mood. All day. You're running lit on caffeine. Gunning. Running and gunning. Hope says you are a morning person. You got that right. Oh, hold on. I was trying to... Yeah. So by default, I won. I won. Where's my prize? Who, no one's sending Brittany, me roses. Brittany Bailey said, y'all should be proud. I'm always one of your biggest fans. Thank you. I use Brittany as an example all the time because she's crushing it, right? She's always posting. She's always she's always doing something to put her stuff out there, mm-hmm. right? Every and time I open my Facebook, I see Brittany. Yeah. Every single time. And I know she's killing it. And I tell people because a lot of a lot of the it's funny. I've had uh, Brittany show like this. I build you know I build websites for our course members, and a lot of times they will be like, I want my website to look like this, and they'll send me your website, and they're like, I want it to look like this, and I'm like, what? And I, you know, so again. That's kudos to you because you're doing a good job and you're getting noticed. But I'm telling you, like, you have to be out there and you have to be in front of people. And when you do that, I'm telling you, it you will make sales. You will make money. You will enjoy this stuff. So what time is it? 10-18? So my fifth tip, fifth oh, tip, five. tip, I would say is probably the same as yours because I think that it is hard, like I said, with all the stressfulness of it to feel the gratitude and the gratefulness of it. And sometimes like I do just kind of sit there and reflect on like how far we've come. And yeah, I think I would agree with yours. You know, it was funny today. It was 11, 15 AM. Me and beasties was at home. We door dashed Bob Evans for breakfast. I of course made my breakfast cause I'm on that health kick right now, but door dashed the biscuits and gravy and, and got some food for the kids. It was 11, it was 11, 15 AM on a Friday morning. And we were at home eating breakfast with our kids at 11.15 on a Friday morning. I'm talking about gratitude, baby. You know what I'm saying? Gratitude. Your hands are so filthy on here, too. You know, I'm sorry you've never seen a hardworking man before. But look, when you find one, show me. Right here. Anyways, the gratitude, folks, is through the roof. 
and I'll never forget that because there were days there have been times remember when I worked all day and then you worked third shift all night and I'd have to watch the kids during the day and you would watch them at night or vice versa and it was that just madness it I didn't watched them during the yeah day. that's that was madness right and we don't live like that today we're gonna go to sleep tonight whenever we want to we're gonna wake up tomorrow whenever we want to and the gratitude for that oh good lord I am so grateful for that every single day so somebody says where are you guys from we live in Beverly Hills, California. We have a mansion in Beverly Hills. Just kidding. Springfield, you are so Ohio. Funny. Springfield, Ohio. 937, baby. That's where we're from. 937. The ghetto. The hood. At one time, we were the most unhappiest city in America. I think if you check Wikipedia, that's a fact. That was at one point. I don't I don't think we're still the unhappiest city in America. But at one time, I believe we were, and that's a Wikipedia fact right there. Yeah. So let's see here. So let's open the floor for some questions, some comments, some concerns, some feedback. Um, let me go ahead and take the, can I have the mice, the mouse? You stink. She says I stink. You, you know why? Stink. It's because I worked all day, all day, literally from. Hope said so, you're fo so funny. She spit her drink out. She probably did. I am pretty funny. Buy a camper, buy a camper, buy a camper. You will love it. We have a camper. We have a camper and a farm and a little cabin. We love it, but I'm telling you, these kids, these kids. Me and my husband work at home together with three kids, want to kill each other every day. That's about the truth. Mm -hmm. I, I feel that. I feel that. I wanted to kill him earlier. Let me just share this. Go ahead. Share, girl. So I had this bright idea that I was going to put together this huge balloon arch. Tomorrow is our uh, daughter's birthday. Party party and anyways i'm sitting here trying to feed these balloons on this massive arch okay these balloons keep popping and he keeps like whipping around not helping me every time a balloon pops like he's annoyed that the balloons are popping i was very annoyed that them balloons were popping and then i so like annoyed. mess up and the whole thing comes falling over it pops everywhere Oh my God, I wanted to kill him because he's just sitting there watching me. Oh, what well, I was sitting there doing something else that I was supposed to be doing. Okay. I was working. A Wednesday Bruh. Adam's cake tomorrow. Yeah, Wednesday but Adam's anyways. cake. But anyways. Yeah, that was frustrating. Then balloons popping ruined my afternoon, by the way. But still, I had to come home, regroup, and here we are. Okay. Still loving every minute of it. Yo, B, don't take this the wrong way, but damn, girl, look what you pulled. Okay. <laughs> 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 Look what you pulled. Okay. As I think she's compliment. Is she compliment? Did she just know. send me a rose? Thanks, Lindsay. We appreciate that. I know Hope's laughing at that one. Yeah, I knew you were laughing, Hope. <laughs> you are. Yeah, she gave me the dead face. That's funny. Congrats and keep killing it. Uh, Nancy says here, when you first started, did you do vendor events or did you strictly sell online? I've never done a vendor event. I've always only sold online. Cassie said you're blushing, Eric. Stop it. Stop it. I'm telling you, I done lost about 40 pounds over the past few months. I see, you know, when I'm driving down the road and I'm in that truck, you know what I'm saying? I see these girls checking me out mm. when they drive by. I see them Probably checking me out. Probably when you're in my Jeep and they're looking at my Jeep. Well, maybe so, but whatever. How do you push your product without sounding so pushy? I think everybody would say Eric's pushy. Yeah, you got to be pushy. If you ain't if you ain't asking, they ain't buying flat out. How do you push your product without sounding so pushy? Mm. Look at that pretty smile, girl. That's how you push that product. Don't lie. Look at that. Sold. I'll take it. Give me five of them. That's a good question, though. <laughs> Somebody said, I've never heard Eric's voice. I'm a little shook. <laughs> oh, Haley. <laughs> She's never heard Eric's voice? Oh, maybe because she only follows you on TikTok. I'm guessing, right? Huh? Well, she's not in this stuff. That's why. Oh, okay. He talks on video all yeah, the time. Yeah, I was going to say, how have you not heard this oh, voice? Oh, God. Hope is laughing at that comment, yeah. too. Hope just this keeps us laughing. This shuts faces up. up. Yeah, I never do shut up, but I enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? This is fun. This is what I like to do. Flaunt it and let it speak. Yep. The girl dads, that's what's up. Good deal. Did we miss any comments here earlier? Any questions anybody has? I, I feel like, hey, them 10 tips we just dropped on y'all for not getting divorced and running a business, those were fire. Those were fire. 
how do y'all two do it with three kids? I have two three-year-old plus a newborn, and I feel like I can never get anything done. Yeah, Taylor, we feel you, girl. 100%. It's hard. Wake up early. Make a list. Do what you're good at. Make a lot of money and be grateful. That's my tips for that right there. It's hard. It is hard. Um, Any new classes for Shopify? Yeah, I've, I've got something brewing over here. I'm just thinking about what to call it. It's going to be something along the lines of like a Shopify makeover, right? So we got to have, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm literally envisioning this vision in my mind of like an ugly Shopify store and at the same time, a Shopify store with a makeover, right? And how can I take you from the ugly Shopify store you have and give you a virtual makeover on your Shopify store and make you feel like a boss at the same lift. time? A facelift. Oh, I like that. I like that. I'll have to jot that note down mentally. A facelift. So, yes, there's some new Shopify stuff coming. But, look, our 2023 Shopify boot camp is fire, right? It is raw. It will get you where you need to go. But uh, you got to put some creativity in there with it. You got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to you gotta work for it. Got to find the perfect balance. Love you guys. What if you have a child that isn't yours and you have to raise someone else's child and you have two other kids, like 28 and 24, and now a three-year-old help? Um, I would say get rid of them. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just <laughs> kidding. Just kidding. Um, do whatever you can to hire a babysitter, right? Tap into your resources. Like literally what I would do is I would sit down with a pen and paper and write down everybody I know that could possibly even watch my kids, whether you paid them or not, right? And literally find somebody to watch the damn kids so you can get some stuff done, right? Even if you only get three hours, literally make a list of everything you can get done in, that, in those three hours and bust it out and get it done, right? I'm telling you, we wouldn't be half... I wouldn't say half as successful, but have half the sanity we have without having a babysitter. Like we have a babysitter probably three or four days a week and good Lord, it's the best days of the week. Mm -hmm. I, I know someone's like, God, he hates his kids. No, I don't. They're just stressful, very stressful. And we just have so many areas of our business that we have to do. That's funny. What? Shopify Botox. Is that funny? Someone says, can you see the Facebook comments? Yeah, I can, but this comment comes from our Facebook group, the BST's course group, so that's a private group, so we can't show your face. Wow. <laughs> she must have thought that was a... Uh, I was joking when I said get rid of the kids. I didn't really mean that. I'm sorry. That was a joke. A revamp. Got to find the perfect balance. Yeah. Man, I just need to get rid of my 28 and 24 year old. I just need to get rid of my 28 and 24 year old. So they're 28 and 24. So if they're asleep right now, go in the in the kitchen, grab some bags, go to their room, Will put all stop? their stuff in the bags. You are get not them out. Funny. You get are them out. So not funny. Are your kids gonna live at the house when they're 28 and 24? No. I hope not. And if they're interfering with my business at 28 and 24... Somebody said his humor. Yeah, you're telling me. Mercedes, hey, you know a funny man when you see one. I respect that about you. Cassie says, I enjoyed watching you guys on a Friday night rather than my typical true crime and wine. Lots of good information. I'm telling you, if you're watching this and you're, and you're sipping a cup of wine right now, you're, gonna, you're, you're in a good mood. I promise. Said, Grandparents help a lot. Yeah, we wish ours did. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Grandparents do help from time to time, but there are some people out there who their parents will watch their kids at any time. Oh, yeah. And when I see that, I'm like, you better be grateful for that. Yeah. Because you don't know how valuable that is. Mm -hmm. I need marriage advice. My husband said he doesn't want to take on any extra household responsibilities for me to have time to build my business. You better put your foot in that man's ass, girl. That's what you better do. Put your foot in that man's ass. Never mind. What, you got something to say? No. That's what I thought. See, that's... I just do all the household responsibilities. Because do what you're good at. Okay. Like, that is a... That's one of my... That was my third tip. Do what you're good at. She loves... I'm, you get high off cleaning the house. Do you not? You love that stuff. You enjoy it. And I hate it. So I let you do your thing. Hope that Eric drank too much coffee. You're telling me. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight because this stuff just gets me rocking and rolling. 
They said, that's my parents. They will watch any time. They're both retired, so they love spending time with my boys. That is awesome. Good deal. That's what's up. Amazon, a new husband. He broken. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Mine came back, one because of medical issues and one to save time, save for a house. They'll be here forever. Yeah. Put them to work. Yeah. Put them to work. Like if they're going to be there and you're like, if you're working and you have a 28 and 24 year old kid in the house and they're just not working, like literally, hey boy, get your butt on over here and press these shirts or print these out or take these to the post office or clean this do something that's going to help you with your Mine business. Mine is a dirty plate. You better rinse it. Yeah. Yeah. I know that's right. My mama taught me just throw them all away. You got dirty dishes in the sink, just bag them, throw them away. <sighs> right? Mm. Throw them away. They live on their own. My kids have their own life, extremely responsible. The three-year-old comes from my sister who uses Yeah, I mean, I... You know, if that... I, yeah. So sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. And, um... Brittany, do you do makeup tutorials? Wow. Um, I go in and out of that. Are we coming that's some, back? That's something that I always like want to like stick with, but it's just hard with doing all of this stuff. I feel like I don't have a ton of time to do things that I enjoy to do, but I go through phases where I try to make time for it. Make teas with B.com slash makeup. You might find something. Maybe go take a look. Yeah. So we've still got 60 on one, uh, 30 on we got 100 people watching us. That's says, awesome. Were you scared the first few times posting on TikTok? Yeah, c because you know how people are with like TikTok. They act like, oh, I'll never download TikTok. I'll never be that person, stuff like that. And everybody makes fun of it so hard. So I definitely was. But then like after my first few videos, I kind of got over that. I also really struggled with like posting on YouTube too. Like that's really uncomfortable. Like talking to a camera like this is still very uncomfortable. I find it a lot easier to make videos when you're just like mouthing to something or doing it to like music or whatever. Um, but yeah, you're good at that stuff. You've been you've been bumping on TikTok here lately too. Tell them about your little your uh, success you've been having on TikTok. Your love hate relationship. Because the other day you were hating them. They weren't giving you views. Yeah. And then they started giving me views. And then today I had a video that was like taking off and they removed the sound. So that was really frustrating. That was some BS. You just have to roll with it and not care what people say. Mm -hmm. Says someone from your Facebook group. Yeah. We appreciate that 100%. Oh, someone just ordered some ink. Shopify order coming in. Does that thing back there still work? She has a Shopify counter back there. I didn't hear it go off. I don't remember what happened. Well, I, ever since that computer shut down. Yeah, probably got unplugged. How long have you two been married? Six? Seven years. Uh, we literally just celebrated six, our six, anniversary like last week. I got it. Oh, you can't see it. Tattooed on my arm. June 6, 2015. We just celebrated, what, seven years? It's fun to watch women that do a Get Ready With Me video. You could... Do a get ready with be live when you're just getting ready for your day. Yeah, I need to start doing that more. You, hey, you like that stuff, girl. I do. You enjoy it. I just am on a very short time span in the morning trying to get ready with the kids and stuff. Yeah. It's hard to put down that murder podcast to shoot a video, isn't it? Okay. Thanks for the advice. They work hard and aren't able to, but thanks for the advice. Yeah, I, and again, if I sounded like I was being a little sarcastic, or like, look, there's going to be times in life where you just don't have the time to do the things that you want to do. And just know that life comes in cycles, right? So if you're at a time where you've got extra time to do things, like do the hard things when it's easy, right? That way when there comes a time where things are hard and you don't have the time to do them, like you've already put in the work so that you know it's going to come back around and you can do it again. Eight years of 2015, LOL. 2015? or Yeah, 2015. Is it seven or eight years, girl? Good Lord, it's eight years? Oh, yeah, maybe it is eight years. Oh, and you just misspoke? You were the one it staring happens. at it, your arm. It's okay, girl, it happens. I've, you know, when we first got together, I was 25 and she was 18. And she was, you were still in high school when we got together. That's a true story. And I was 25. How do you think her parents felt about that? Yeah. 
that's another story for another day. That's another story for another day. That that's a ten tips on how to pick a winner, right there. Yeah. Maybe that's coming soon. We'll have to try that. Who picked the winner? We both did, girl. What are you talking about? Who picked the winner? I wasn't sure what you meant. You heard what she said a little bit ago about you know I'm saying that comment that she gave me. You remember what she said? I don't remember what she said, but it was a good one. Hope said, "Oh, we loved it." (laughs) What? All the comment? No, about uh, us. Yeah. Another story for another day. Yeah. Hope, are you coming to the party tomorrow or what? I feel like you offended somebody on Facebook. <laughs> it's so, you know, if I did, I'm sorry. Where's she at? I said, Hope, are you coming to the party tomorrow or not? These kids keep saying, where's Hope and Zach at? Mm-hmm. Yes, dressed Wednesday. Okay, we'll see. You better be there. Hope will be dressed as Wednesday. Or Ava will be dressed as Wednesday. I'm making time, someone says. Yeah, from this day forward, I'm making time. You better be. You better be. You better be. Mm-hmm. Well. Is that it? I think that's it. Because I'm just quiet. getting warmed up. You guys want to hear some good dad jokes? No, we don't. I got them on deck. Then we can get off my live and you get live on your own Facebook. <laughs> and what, and have two people watching right. me? Yeah, right. I'm good. I'm too famous for that. Okay get on my own facebook whatever out of here all right folks we we i don't know about you but i enjoy your presence i'm glad that you showed up with us and spent a little time tonight i hope that you learned something from our 10 tips for not getting divorced while running a business and i tell you what if you have one that we didn't mention drop it down below because i i read every single one of those comments i don't reply back to every one of them but i read Mm -hmm. them and if there's a tip that you drop out and it changes my life I will send you a thank you card or a rose. I guess that's a thing. People send roses on TikTok. On TikTok yep. Is that like money or what is it? I really don't know. So is, wh- Hope, what is a rose on TikTok? I, I, yeah. I'm sure she knows what it is. What the heck does it mean if somebody sends you a rose? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, she just sent another one. Okay. I'm sure she'll answer I don't answer even this. know what any of that means. I don't either. Quick tech question. Mike's while live. What's the connected to? All the girl dads are asking that. Yeah. So, since you asked that, my brother, we are connected to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, show them the setup. The microphones are connected to Facebook, connected to a Rode Rodecaster. We have a camera here. Yeah. It's a hot mess, though. It is a hot mess. But you cannot hear the Sure microphones on TikTok. What we're trying to do is figure out how to get that connected. Yeah. So, we're actually live streaming on Facebook, YouTube. Our Facebook group, Facebook page, and TikTok all at the same time right now through Restream.io. Pretty gangster software. We, we uh, I appreciate this. But, um, yeah. It's worth a penny, someone says. When they send you a rose, is it worth a penny? And you can turn it into money? Is it kind of like Bitcoin? Is that even still a thing? I don't know. I haven't heard anything about Bitcoin in a while. I never was a fan of it. I didn't know anything about it. I've been wanting to do something much better and figure out how to how people stream with Twitch and stuff. Hit me up, my man. I mean, I, I could definitely walk you through setting up. Check us out. if you're if I know you're on TikTok, but go look at the quality on Facebook. It's top notch. I'm telling you, it can't be beat. And I could definitely show you how to set up like this. Mm-hmm. Oh, Nancy says, I know a rose equals a coin. But which coin? Is it a quarter? Is it a nickel? Is it a dime? Yeah, I'll be glad when it all kind of integrates together. But it seems like TikTok is only allowing you to combine it all if you have a PC and not a Mac. So I don't know if they've just started that. I'm or looking for a good excuse to buy a PC, by the well, way. Well, I'm going to have to for yeah. my new Shh. thing. Shh. Don't tell them about that. Okay. That's Secrets. top secret. Secrets. That's top secret. Don't tell anybody about that. You didn't hear anything. So that's it, folks. We've been rapping for 44 minutes. Um, we hope that you all enjoyed something. And now Courtney's on here? Yeah. Man, Courtney, where were you at 44 minutes ago? When the fun's getting over. Basically saying, give me the number. And I'm like, uh, yeah, I feel you. I feel you, folks. You want to sit on here for a little bit? I got, I got. See, I got this evening ritual where before I go to bed, I like to watch some YouTube. I like to watch some inspirational welding videos 
watch some inspirational farming videos. They're and, not um, inspirational. It helps me have good dreams at night. Do you Who have wants any? to see a cat? You can have two. Come get them. You can take two. You can have Petra. Yeah, we don't even care. Bean will be mad if you take Petra, though. B, do you have any evening routines that help you wind down that doesn't involve buying things? No. Oh, no? Okay. All right. I'm looking for a cat. If your guys help out Hold like on. mine I'll go does. Find a cat. Go get a cat. If your guys help out like mine does, make sure you give them brownie points. They deserve it. Yeah. For if you all have a man that helps you out in your business, or not just a man, a spouse, a significant other, a significant person, a kid, a neighbor, a friend, like that helps you out in your business, good help is hard to find. And if you have somebody who helps you out and run your business and grow your business, you, my friend, are blessed. Very blessed. Yep, we got you. The rose equals one coin. I'm going to have to look into that because I'm just not quite sure what that one coin is. Somebody's asking their daughty, daughter. Yeah. Amen to that. That's the truth. Better get brownie points. Oh, speaking of brownie points, look at the kitty cat. This one is free 99. Free for 99. For anybody who wants her. It's funny because a year ago today, we thought she ran away. We thought she got out the door when she was just a little, little, little baby. And she was just hiding in the bedroom for like 36 hours. We thought she was gone. But there she is, just as fat as can be. Oh, there's Luna. Yep, we got another one back here too. Look at that. That's that Bees Tees 13 by 19, 8.5 by 11, sublimation ink. Go get you some. What? How do they sub that cat's name? Anatoly? Anatoly. Anatoly. Well, next time Anatoly gets out, just send her across the street. Anatoly is a boy. Hey, next time Anatoly gets out, you send him across the street and they can meet. Anyways. Oh, Courtney sent hearts too. Nope, hold on. That's Hope commenting about Courtney sending. I don't understand all that stuff yet. <gasps> oh, look! How did got, that happen? That's like the first like gift thing I've ever got. Somebody just put a hat on my head on TikTok. That was pretty daggone cool. I respect that. Valerie says, I want that cat. So cute. That cat is cute. You got that right. Oh, that's 99 pennies for the hat? Oh, nice. If you want a refund, I got you. Don't worry. I promise. We'll give you your money back. <laughs> all right girl you got any final thoughts no oh i got another hat look at that. that's a tiktok hat oh my god are they putting them on me specifically or are they just like putting I think them it's out there? your big ass head is the only one it's like it's probably the only one that the ai can recognize yep. as a as a a real dome right yep look at all oh, these, gifts these hearts we're getting. man everyone's sending us these gifts on tiktok that's awesome eric actually wears those hats for real I got a whole collection of hats. I've got this one hat. When I first, when we first bought the farm, I was like, you know what? I'm buying an Amish hat, and I bought this high quality, so gangster Amish hat, and I haven't had a chance to wear it yet. Maybe tomorrow's, maybe Ava's party tomorrow. Can I wear it? It is the baddest freaking Amish hat you've ever seen in your life. I promise. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I just can't figure out how I'm going to wear it though. Mm -mm. Maybe Halloween. Not even Halloween? Courtney, no. It is the most ridiculous. The, the, the girl dad says, I want one of those. I hope they're talking about an Amish hat. Don't make me go get it. And a makeup tutorial. And a makeup tutorial. Look, we got makeup tutorials for, day, for days. But tomorrow, can you promise these people a makeup tutorial? Well, we got Ava's birthday in the morning, but I'll work on it next week. Are you going to... Or wait, Sunday I can. Are you going to do your makeup tomorrow? No, I do my makeup every day. Yeah, so we do this thing where if like if she shoots the videos, I will edit them. For those of you who aren't on YouTube, go check out that latest YouTube video that she posted tonight that was edited by yours truly. And it's actually going to be a Facebook ad too because if it's not oh advertising, God. it's not worth it. It's not worth it, folks. So, anyways. Thank you, Scott. He said happy birthday, Ava. Ava, seven years old. She getting older every day. I'm trying to see if... See if the ad's made any sales yet. Let's see. Not Everybody's yet. Everybody's going to comment on that ad. Cents. Wow, that girl is so stupid. She wow, is she so is dumb. She is so ugly. She is so dumb. That ain't her Jeep. 
Uh, do a get ready with me to stress about a party that I should die. <laughs> Make a TikTok with me tomorrow. Find the TikTok. Because I'll, be, I'll sit there and scroll forever. So find the one you want to do. I got a couple good ideas for TikTok. So. We need to do that one tonight with that Tumblr. Let's do it right now. Also, what do you guys think about us uh, starting to do ASMR? That would be a good one. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'll try anything. You guys, you did a balloon arch. It That was such a nightmare for me today. Like, I don't know if I'll ever do that again. My fingers hurt from, like, tying the balloons. It's like arthritis in my hands. My It drained my spirit. I don't know what the heck kept popping them balloons. I think it's because I, I blew them up to, too I, much in the humidity. Very rarely do I want to smack you, but I wanted to smack you today. Them balloons were pissing me off so bad, and you didn't even care. You, you act like you it was my fault the I balloons were popping. Like it's my fault. I blew up like 100 balloons, and you think I didn't care that they were all popping? No, you have a machine that blew up the balloons. And I think you were blowing them up too tight. I just said that. Well, still wasn't my fault. Girl, I'm about to pop them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sucked. It was bad. And, and, I, and I'm so scared that I'm going to go tomorrow, and they're all going to be popped. And if they are, who cares for real? Because care. they're all, you know where... I don't know when it was. It was Easter. for We had an Easter egg hunt out there at the farm. And I'm telling you what, I still pick up broken little plastic Easter eggs everywhere out there. These kids destroy it. And I'm like, man, that just it sucked. What a great story. Yeah. And you know what's going to be tomorrow? It's going to be popped balloons everywhere that I'm going to have to clean Petra's up for another month. Get no, Petra. Go. I'm surprised she has pants on. She's usually just got a nice shirt up top and just nothing down at the bottom. Oh just. <laughs> You didn't like that. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. It wasn't all the way true, but it was kind of true. It was pretty much true. No, but I dress nice on the top, and What'd I you... have sweatpants on the bottom that has bleach stains all over them. Where'd you get the bleach stains at? Oh, gosh. Yep. Sorry, sometimes my cat likes to pee back there, and I was not about to have that. Yep. Well, I uh, I see our viewers gradually declining, so that means my jokes, jokes are yep. getting less funny and less funny and less interesting. So, uh, folks, we hope you had a wonderful evening. We hope that you enjoyed this 10 simple tips for not getting divorced while running a business. And keep in mind, the people voted. I was the winner. I had three of the five that you all voted for. So that was me. Only because I didn't have I'm five. the one that got the cowboy hat on TikTok and the TikTok hat, so... It was a great night. Everybody won. So thanks for watching, folks. We will. When can we? When can they expect us again? Sunday. Sunday. What's today? Friday. Today's Friday. Sunday it is, folks. We will see y'all Sunday. Holla 